single digits around the Miami Valley. The wind chill is even colder. Maybe one for the record books. It possibly could be. We're looking at uh, not necessarily the record low temperature, but the lowest record high temperature, if that makes sense. As we go throughout the day, it's going to be very cold. The lowest temperature or a high that we have seen on this March the 5th is 22 degrees. That is the lowest high temperature. The forecasted high for today is 21 degrees, so a good chance that we end up short of that record, which in this case would give us a new record for a low high, if that makes any sense. Very cold. We'll keep it simple. It's cold out there today. Temperatures right now in the single digits, really all around the Miami Valley, most of us ranging 8, 9, and 10 degrees. Places with higher elevation like Bell Fountain and off to Urbana, right around 5 degrees. You add the breeze to it that's subtracting a lot of the heat that you would have in your body. The wind will just kind of suck the heat right out of you, and that's what we're looking at here right now. Wind chills ranging from about 5 below to 10 below. Many of us are fitting in that range here this morning. Yellow Springs still one of the coldest ones this morning at 8 degrees below zero. That's their wind chill. Satellite and radar, once again, we're picking up that cold front that's waving through. And yeah, it's hard to believe that a cold front could even exist with as cold of temperatures as we have right now. But yes, that is colder air that's waving through even behind what we're, or, excuse me, behind what we're looking at right now. And that is producing a disturbance, making some clouds as well as snow showers that are expected to wave in by the time we get into the afternoon. Make sure the kids are bundled up and ready to go for this cold weather that we're seeing here this morning. It's going to start off around 8 degrees, 9 degrees for many of them when they're jumping on the bus. When they're coming back home, while it's going to be 20 degrees, it is not going to really feel any better. It's going to get much windier later in the day as well as those chances for a few snow showers to wave in. Hourly wind chills as we go throughout the day here, throughout the entire morning, um, kind of a steady, very gradual increase. Three degrees is what it's going to feel like at noon, so that's not a whole lot different than what we're seeing in the morning hours here right now. Very cold throughout the day. Make sure you plan ahead to that. Wear layers to kind of hold that heat in a little bit tighter. As we go throughout the day, we'll start off with some sunshine in the morning, but clouds waving through at the noon hour. That's the cold front I just showed you. Pushing through, it's going to give us a chance for scattered snow showers after it passes by. Uh, we're going to see that activity throughout the afternoon, lasting into the early evening hours as well. And again, this is scattered and light precipitation that we're seeing. We could possibly see a dusting or a light accumulation with this, but most of us uh, do not expect to see any significant accumulation, especially places off to the north. You could possibly see a little bit with that. Overnight tonight, 10 degrees for the low. Very cold, a few flurries early. The five-day forecast shows a steady climb in the temperatures, a chance for snow late on Thursday, a mix on Friday, and rain arriving late on Saturday. We're bringing you weather and traffic updates every 10 minutes. Let's go back to Sergeant Mark with a look at the traffic report. Good morning, Sarge. Jesse, good Tuesday morning to you. As always, we keep a close eye on freeway traffic. Also, had a chance to talk to several area police departments a couple of minutes ago. Right now, we are monitoring uh, the camera at 75 at Wagner Ford Road. Still looking at light volume on the freeway. Travel times are also all in the normal range. I'm Sergeant Mark Fowler in WHIO Team Traffic. The time right now, 520. It is 9 degrees. New life in the former Good Samaritan Hospital building. How the city plans to use it. Next. Dayton Public Schools Music Department gets a generous donation. Why a superintendent says supporting the arts is so important. Storm Tracker 7, the mobile weather center that allows our team of expert meteorologists to be anywhere in the community. Storm Center 7 is weather coverage you can count on. St. Leonard.